2, 3, testing, testing, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, testing, testing, 1, 2, 3.
Right, hello everyone, welcome to the first EMOM of Sweden, uh, arranged by me, Niklas from Svensk Solsyn, uh, Jauni from Burg and Oli Laboratories, and Jörgen from Electric Studios. Uh, electric, um, EMOM is Electric Music Open Mic, so today we're going to have a couple of acts doing a short session to try to run as many people as possible. Um, and the first act is... Uh, my name is Rasmus Alkestrand, aka Triangular Waves. And you're going to play on your uh, Euro modular. Yes, I'm going to perform a short piece on my modular synthesizer, uh, combining acoustic samples from different instruments and uh, purely pure synthesis as well. Okay, sounds good. Hit it.
Fantastic. Thank you very much. Um, I gotta ask, do you keep this patch going all the time and adjust it and train on it? Uh, until my kid uh, falls around with it. <laughs> yeah, mo most the knobs and pulls out the cords. Yeah. How long does it take to make something like this? Uh, this I made uh, the, uh, three days ago or something. Uh, or maybe uh, actually yesterday because I had to re redo it again. Uh, but uh, it, it's like working with modular, you never know if uh, it sounds the same every time you plug it in. And yeah, that's true. Well, every time you turn it on, it's a different sound. Yeah, yeah it is. <laughs> okay, great. Thank you very much. Thank you.
Okay, next up is Nord. Tell us a little bit about yourselves. Okay, so uh, we're Nord. Uh, we're a rock band from Malmö. <laughs> awesome. Uh, we had discussed in the uh, pod last uh, time. Is it Nord or is it Nord? We say Nord. 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 Yeah. Okay, cool. And you're going to play on computers and you're going to show some cool pictures. Yeah, we hope so. Uh, Originally, as I said, we're a rock band, so I'm the guitarist, Tobias is a drummer. So this is kind of a new scene and new setting for us. Um, so it's exciting. Okay, awesome. Uh, best of luck.
days, 12 days, 25 
have some kind of suspicion. I guess so I took it again and scored a hundred again. And like I didn't think anything of it, but when I went home and told my mom, she was irate. She was like, they made you take it again. Why? If you scored a hundred the first time, like, you know what I'm saying? But it's just this shit like that will happen to me all the time. Every time I show that intelligence, it was like it was it was it never worked out uh, correct. It always went bad. So like I stopped showing it and just got quiet and just like because people are too fucking stupid to handle a smart black person.
Great work. Uh, who needs guitars anyway? <laughs> no idea. <laughs> yeah, it's obvious that you can manage without really great stuff. Uh, I've always wondered when I heard your stuff, uh, where do you find all these cool samples? Tobias is the man to ask. Uh, from death metal. From death metal, the, the guitar samples. Uh, no, that's the guitarist. Is Martin is playing that, so they, I have sampled him. Oh, okay, but I, I was thinking about the voices. Yeah, the voices, okay, the cut-ups, or the, yeah, it's normally from people on the internet, yes. Okay, cool. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you.
Next up is my great friend Antonio Tublenko. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Namaste. <laughs> Hello. Yeah, uh, so you're playing the Bukla Easel today. Yes, I'm playing the Bukla uh, through some pedals. And I have nothing prepared. And uh, so we'll see where we'll end. It's, uh, it has its mind of its own. So yeah, we'll see where we go. Yeah, and if uh, you wonder what's uh, making all the noises in between the sets, it's my bookla, which is a lot better than his bookla, but oh. I am a lot worse than he is on <laughs> playing it. So. We should have a duel. Yeah. Okay. No, we have a little bit of an uh, ongoing thing about which is best, the bookla easel or the 200 system, but obviously the easel is going to shine tonight. It has its own mojo, I think, so uh, I had that too, so I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's going to be fun to hear. Thank you.
Yeah, that was fantastic. Uh, tell us, did you use the looper much? What if I <laughs> used the looper much? No, <laughs> but it uh, it was scary. Uh, um, sometimes it just you know took its own way, and I tried to fold it back. But uh, yeah, it was fun. <laughs> it was, yeah, it was obvious how you interacted with the instrument and how it took you places, and then you just went with it and find, found new paths and just went back. Yeah, that's a nice thing, I think, with the, especially with the, with the blooper pedal and yeah, the looper pedal. I can always kind of go back, follow, bring something new in, so I can sort of keep it organic in a way. Uh, because it's, it's always difficult to keep it organic when you're dealing with electronic instruments, but uh, I think this, this beast is good for that. I think beast is a great word. It <laughs> sounds like it's alive. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 
All right, next up is uh, Bitflip. Hello, welcome. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, in the introduction that you sent us, you said that the CS15 is the world's worst uh, electric organ. <laughs> How come? <laughs> yeah, that's correct. Um, I actually found it in a specialized, specialized electric organ store and um, they wanted it to have pedals and rhythms and, uh, of course, multiple stories of, uh, of um, keyboards. And this thing only plays one tone at a time and it doesn't do it even particularly well, according to the guy. So uh, this was in Borling. I, I checked uh, today, but the store is closed for some reason. Uh, but basically, they had three of these. They were new, and uh, he just wanted to give them away, basically, which I wouldn't allow them. But uh, uh, I've got one of them here. OK, that's uh, fantastic. And today, you're going to play some songs and sing as well. You're going to be the first. Oh, thanks. Well, I'm going to play four short pop songs. And um, I might try to sing with this uh, thing that goes into a vocoder-ish thing, but it might not work, so then I'll use the microphone, the regular one. Um, we'll see if, if, if there's a lot of uh, feedback loops, then we'll cancel that, because normally it doesn't work on stage, but we'll do a try. Okay, great. Take it away. Fyra små låtar. Jag tänkte börja med en låt som jag gav ut under namnet Bit Bit Flip som heter Ensam i en skog. Sen kommer jag att köra en Bit låt med mitt band. Det var meningen att de skulle komma hit. Sen tänkte jag spela lite gubbrock också. Två låtar som, som jag inte har spelat ut eller gett ut så det är originalet att höra på dem. Uh, det skjuter lite grann, uh, jag hoppas det funkar och skjuter det för mycket då, då byter jag mikrofon helt enkelt. Så, den här ska jag kolla att den låter också. Det låter här. <skratt> Toppen, då kör vi. Oh, 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 
Ja, det krånglar ju lite, men tack. Vi ta en liten låt till. Så hoppas vi att bilarna håller igång. That was super. I just love old Swedish synth pop. Yeah, little synth pop more than raw, I think. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And uh, the CS15 uh, kind of behaved. It behaved, but it got detuned. So um, I, I tried to save a little bit of your ears. So <laughs> <laughs> I think it was lovely. Thank you very much.
Niklas, ja schön. Yeah, that's my test. Yeah. And that's your test. Yeah. Okay, everyone. Next up is Bori Quist, who's going to do an acid set on the syntax and the socks box, right? Uh, there will be acid, yes. That's that's good. Um, did you build the socks box yourself? Uh, no, actually, I think it's my fourth socks box. Uh, this one I bought from my friend Daniel. Shout out five o'clock traffic. Uh, and this one I like uh, a lot. Cool, because they are individuals and they have different components yeah, yeah, that yeah. make them different. Yeah, yeah. I, I had one which was all metal case, which was of course very sexy, but it was very m also very metallic in the sound, like uh, very harsh. Okay, that's weird. And then you're gonna run the Swedish Syntact. <sighs> yeah. I love it. And then uh, the sox box is going into the soya. And then I built this uh, expression pedal knobby thingy for the feedback. Oh, OK. Great. Uh, let's go.
All of this from just two machines, that's awesome. Okay, three machines and four if you count your. Uh, okay, um, it's like a um, kitchen uh, table setup. Yeah, but it sounds like too much almost. It's it's very impressive, really good stuff. Uh, but the syntax is, uh, it's almost cheating used this is using the syntax because it's too powerful, like. Yeah, it has a real boom in the kick and all that stuff. Yeah, uh, I love it. Do you run the uh, socks box through the syntax also? Uh, sorry? Do you run the socks box through the syntax or just through the Empress? Yeah, th through the Empress and then going into the uh, syntax. And the sequences uh, in the syntax, playing the socks box is actually the socks box uh, recorded into the syntax. Uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I think I got it. <laughs> 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 no, so you program the sequence on the syn uh, socks box, then yeah. you record it into the syntax, and then the syntax control. Yeah. Because you don't want to switch patterns on the socks box. Uh, it's just nice to being able to mute the uh, trigs of the MIDI notes going to the socks box. Okay, got it. Also, some acid and some dancing. Thanks for that. Yeah. Great stuff. <laughs>
Okay, uh, next up is kvida, which is Swedish for, yeah, what? Really sore stomach, I guess. Yeah, that sounds like <laughs> fun. <laughs> yeah. And you guys have like all the Rolands on, on the table here. Yeah, with some 40 sounds maybe. Yeah, so the oldest H101, the H01A, um, and the nice old mixer. Yes, the System 100 mixer, yeah. Doesn't that have a reverb or something also? It has a spring reverb and some really nice humming background ambience. Yeah, of course, the humming is part of the thing. And you're going to do some vocoder stuff too? Uh, I'm going to do a little bit, yeah. Our stuff is very improvised. So yes, there'll be a tiny bit of vocoder in there as well, yes. Okay, cool. Take it away.
This was super impressive. Um, I love how you built it slowly but surely. And, and you said it was improvised? Yes, it was. Thank you very much. But um, you got to have some kind of sequencer somewhere. Uh, one sequencer in here and one in the uh, other one. <laughs> That's right. Yeah, and then the drummer, of course. Yes, triggering um, them all. Yeah. Cool. Um, but I didn't hear so much hum. You didn't? Okay. Maybe have a good uh, sound engineer back there. <laughs> <laughs> well, give it up for the sound engineer. Well, great stuff. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah. I got to ask, uh, what's with the Walkman thing? Well, uh, I love finding, you know, the odd old uh, cassette tapes on uh, flea markets and stuff like that. So uh, that's what I put into that. And uh, today I tried to run it through the, uh, the microphone uh, on the vocoder as well. So uh, it, it's just basically because it sounds a lot, you know, the humming thing. So, yeah, uh, that's the tapes. <laughs> cool. Thank you very much.
Så bara vi, vi. Right, next up is Jaggedy. Welcome. I love your outfit. And it said in your description that you bring stuff from the 80s, right? 80s? Yeah, it said it in the description. <laughs> What do you think? <laughs> I don't know, it looks kind of 80s. <laughs> like I say, I'm channeling my teenagers. So. That's fantastic, I love it. And uh, what are you going to play for us today? Sorry? What are you going to play for us today? Uh, I'm going to play th uh, three songs. Um, fun songs, one serious song. Okay. So a little bit of everything, a little bit disco, a little bit sad, and a little bit politics. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Thank you, take it away. <laughs>
in a coma and uh, then he died.
Now politics. And I'm very angry.
Thank you. Now, now we can hear us. That was some great stuff. I was only missing the disco ball. Yeah. Well, where Why was it? <laughs> Why didn't you bring one? <laughs> so it's it's um it's a wish for next time for Incons to bring a yeah. disco ball. Great. Thank you very much.
All right, so next up is Martin Jarl, my good old friend, and a couple of years back, right? Yeah, we have been uh, talking on and off for two years. I think it's something like that, and you've always been impressive with all the music you make, but usually uh, I hear stuff from uh, Reason, but today it's going to be hardware all the way. Yeah, today is hardware and it's um, uh, for um, uh, sketches, not um, um, uh, not whole tracks or released tracks, so only unreleased material today. So it's going to be improvised based on a couple of uh, preset patterns? Yeah, that's right. And uh, it's all your own samples, of course, in the Digitac. You haven't stolen anything or bought anything. You made it yourself. <laughs> I made everything myself. Obviously. Um, I know this. Yeah. I know this. Um, so it's going to be Digitac, Digitone, and the Roland T8. Yeah, I got a baby Roland here, yes. Yeah, you keep changing your gear all the time. That's one of the big things in your life. Yeah, that's my main hobby. Yeah, and Music is uh, second. For a while, I was buying all your second-hand gear, but um, yeah. I ran out of money. <laughs> well, that's, that's the thing. You have to sell it on. So uh, I always have some new stuff uh, to tinker with. Yes. Is that the way you get inspired by buying new stuff and then realizing you can't do what you want in hardware, so you go back to reason instead? 
Well, it's, um, no, it's, it's not how I get inspired. It's pretty depressive, actually. <laughs> yeah, okay, so you buy a gear to get depressed and then you go back to reason. Yeah, yeah, reason always makes me happy, so I'm, I'm, I'm finding my way back all the time, yes. Okay, cool. And we're going to hear some dub tunes today. Mm -hmm. yeah. No one knows it's going to be dub, techno, whatever. Well, it's more, maybe more, yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> take it away.
No. No hörs det. Right, thank you very much. Great job, Martin. As always, you can trust Martin to bring some great music. Thank you. Did it, did it feel good? Yeah, it felt pretty good, yes. How, how do you keep track of all these tracks? I don't. <laughs> you don't? <laughs> you let it live its own life. It's, well, it's really good. It's like a journey from start to end. It's really, you re did really good. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, Niklas. Och eh, nu för alla som är här då, så stanna gärna kvar. Eh, vi är klara för ikväll. Tack så jättemycket allihop för att ni kom. Eh, hoppas vi kan göra det här fler gånger.